This is my ECU from my BMW E90 320D. Hopefully you can see the numbers here. And uh, this one had water damage. The water got inside through the gaps here, I guess. So I'm going to show you how to open it should you ever want to open one. First, you remove these screws from here, 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 here and here. So I've got them removed. Once you've removed the screws, you can remove this cover. Now you can see here there is some sort of white seal and glue stuff. So when you prying it off, you'll have to sort of gently pry it off from here. I didn't open this cover myself, so I don't know how hard it was to remove it around these edges, but it's definitely gonna you have to sort of gently pry it off so it comes off. And here you can see the glue stuck on this side as well. Now you've got this casing that it sits in, the circuit board sits in this casing and now you've, you'd want to remove this as well maybe. So this circuit board comes out with these black plastic oops, connecting sort of these electric sleeves and uh, I've removed it already but I'll show you quickly. It has these white stripes, the, if you can see here and here, the white sort of seal and glue. So that's what's going to be holding it in. Plus, you can see it has sort of sealant here, and you can see it sort of going here. So once it's in here, what you do, you take a flat screwdriver and you sort of stick it in a gab here and you sort of pry it until the sealant starts coming up, coming up loose. Do the same from the other side, pry it a bit until it starts coming up loose. Then you can sort of, there are gaps here, maybe a screwdriver might be not thin enough, I, I used a knife at first, but you sort of get it in here and pry it up a bit, pry it up here and because the, the, seal, the sealant strips on the other side are here and here. So you basically just use a screwdriver and you sort of pry it up, pry it up around the edges and as you do this you start, so sort of the sealant starts peeling off. The same here, the sealant here is closer to the edge so it's harder to get it started around the edge so you know it will be hard on this side because the sealant strip is here a bit further away from the edge it's easier, you can sort of get the screwdriver in there easier but you just keep prying, keep prying, keep prying until it all comes loose make sure you've done the plastic bit as well and once it's come loose you just sort of pull it off and uh, here you go, you've got it, you've got it removed and you can, uh, in my case I had water damaged and had to clean it with acetone and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, probably not, but I'll give it a try anyway. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.